well, hello there, people from the Earth or elsewhere. I don't know. Maybe if you watch this, and I'm scared. Today we're gonna talk about a lens that I own since Christmas. Uh, it's a gift uh, from myself to myself. So from Yusef to Yusef. And I got it. It's uh, I'm gonna show you. It's this one right here, 16 millimeter. Uh, yeah, can you focus? All right. So it's a small little filter. It has a 43 millimeter millimeter filter. And the real name is Canon Lens RF 16 millimeter f 2.8 STM 43 millimeter filter. It's a really good lens and let me talk to you about it. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. So let's go with uh, at least five reasons why I bought this lens and why I chose this lens. The first reason is to capture wide landscapes, videos or photos. So as you know, maybe I do a lot of uh, hiking videos and I like to go out in nature and uh, I needed a wide angle lens. So far, I only have a 24 to 105. That's the lens that I'm filming with right now. And I wanted something really like wider and wider than that. And I think that 16 millimeter was the right choice for me. The second reason why I chose this lens is because I wanted to uh, take pictures of the night sky uh, and also videos like um, video time lapses of the night sky. And um, yeah, this lens does that really well. The third reason was because I wanted a, a lens that could take uh, pictures and also videos again uh, for uh, architectural buildings and architecturals. That's the right thing to say, I think. Another reason uh, is that I wanted to have this lens for uh, real estate videos. And the other reason is that I wanted to, to have another lens in my kit that is cheap and lightweight. So I was thinking about getting the RF 15 to 35 f 2.8 or the RF 14 to 35 f 4, but they're actually too expensive and too heavy for me. They're like, I think the, the 15 to 35 is like $12 billion and the uh, 14 to 35 is like uh, $2 million. And uh, yes, I'm exaggerating a lot, but <laughs> I wanted something cheap. And this new lens, the RF 16 millimeter, is only $400 Canadian. Canadian. So uh, that was really uh, cheap and um, I could afford that much. And also uh, the reason why I didn't choose the other two lenses that I just mentioned, the, the 15 to 35 and 14 to 35, is that they're um, heavier than this little lens. Look at this, it's so small and it's so like you can put it in your jacket, you can put it uh, under your hat, you can put it uh, in your pockets, you can eat it. One of the downside that I found was the wobble effect. Like when you use a wide angle lens uh, on the R5 or the R6, I'm using the R6 right now, uh, when you use the image stabilizer inside the camera, uh, the, the you can see like a wobble effect when you walk with the camera. Let's say I'm trying to take a landscape in a video and I'm walking toward that landscape and you can see a little wobble effect on the corner and uh, so this is not really nice but you can't do nothing about that so far. Uh, you can try to walk really steady like you have a steady walk or use a gimbal and uh, that would fix the problem. You can also stabilize your, your footage after in um, Final Cut Pro or Premiere Pro. Another really small downside that I found uh, about this lens is that you have a lot of vignetting on your raw photos only in your JPEGs. If you only use JPEGs, it's going to correct itself in the camera. But if you use raw photos, then you're going to see a vignetting. But it's not so much of a downside because it's only like a click away in your editing program to fix that. And I use uh, Lightroom. And in Lightroom, I choose my lens in the profile and that corrects it. So, eh, well, for me, it's not so much of a downside. So I haven't used this lens so much because uh, so far I really love my 
RF24 to 105 because it's so versatile and also it's really, really sharp. Like the image you get out of this lens is really good. But I I will take this one out sometimes to take like a special um, vibe. It serves its purpose and I don't use it so much, but when I want to use it, it's there and it's nice to have in your bag. All right, guys, so that's it. That was my review uh, for this lens, the 16 millimeters from uh, Canon. So if you like the video, just uh, put a thumbs up, go like it, and maybe consider subscribing. All right, see you on the next one. Bye. It's, uh, it's going to make uh, me really happy and I'm going to smile for the whole day.